So your SAT is just three weeks away and you're feeling the pressure. Not to worry, I've got a three week cram plan to get you ready for your next SAT. Let's dive in. All right, time is of the essence, but with hard work, determination, and a strategy, you'll be able to accomplish your goals. All right, so the first thing you need to do in week one is start by taking a full length practice test. Obviously, if you're international, take a digital SAT. If you're in the US, take a paper SAT. Try to mimic the real testing conditions. So take it in a quiet place, free of distraction, time every section, and give yourself the appropriate breaks. Don't drag it out or take long walks in between each section or pause the timer to get up and get a snack because you can't do that in the real test. All right, after the test, you need to sit down and reflect. Score your practice, figure out what types of questions you missed. I designed a simple tracking tool for the digital SAT and I'll link that below so you can access it. Are you weaker in math? Are you weaker in English? Try to figure out your weak spots. Okay, you wanna spend this week focusing on your weakest sections. So I would recommend using College Board's question bank, which I will definitely link below for you. And while you're out and about, I would say get the Preply app. So the Preply app is a mobile app where you can practice more English and math questions from your cell phone if you're at your grandma's house or if you're in study hall or if you're basically anywhere where you're waiting around and you have some downtime, but you're not home at your computer. So I'm gonna link below so you can get Preply now so that you can maximize your prep time over the next few weeks. All right, in week two, now that you've identified your weak areas, it's time to continue to drill down on those topics. If math is your nemesis, start to hit up those geometry questions you've been avoiding. For the English sections, you wanna make sure to practice active reading. What this means is every time you read a sentence or a paragraph, stop and try to sum it up in your own words. A huge issue students have on the English sections is reading something over and over again and not really grasping what it is saying. So get good at paraphrasing. Also, you're gonna to wanna to build your vocabulary. Vocabulary will help you answer word and context questions, but it will also help you grasp the material more throughout the entire English portions. So build your lexicon by starting a vocabulary cheat sheet. Title it, Words I Don't Know, and every time you're prepping for the SAT, you encounter a word that you're not familiar with, write it down on your words you don't know list and look up its definition. Then study that list every day. Now the same goes for math. If you don't know a math concept, put it down on your math cheat sheet. Now guys, I need you to recognize that the more practice questions you do in this week, the better. Research studies have shown a strong correlation between the number of questions a student practices and how much they improve their score. So devote as much time as you can each day to prepping like ideally three to four hours a day if you can swing it. Then by the time you go into the test, you'll be like, oh, I've seen that question before. Oh, I know how to handle that. I've done this question 10 to 20 times already. Now the key is though, you need to understand why the correct answer is correct. So if you're practicing questions over and over and over again, and you're getting them wrong, but you're not investigating why your answer is wrong and why another answer is right, History repeats itself. You're gonna make the same mistakes again in your test. Wanna actually dive into this in more detail and follow our curriculum? Definitely click the link above and fill out the contact form and we'll be in touch with you so that we can set you up with an amazing tutor on our team that scores a 1500 plus. It can actually go through these lessons with you in an individual capacity and in way more detail so that you can gain mastery. Or if working with a tutor one-on-one -on -one isn't your thing, then you can sign up for my digital SAT self-paced course where you can basically go at your own pace on your own time. Use the promo code 50 off at checkout and you'll get $50 off the self-paced course. I will link it up here right now. 
Okay, make sure you end week two by taking another full length practice test. This will be a nice acid test for you to see if you've improved at all from the start of week one. All right guys, so as much as you probably wanna go hard in week three too, I would say pump the brakes a little bit because week three is all about refinement and relaxation. Start week three by reviewing your errors from the last practice test you did at the end of week two. Make sure again you understand why you got certain questions wrong and why the correct answer is right. Do many practice sessions this week where you experiment with pacing. So if you were running out of time or you had issues with time on certain parts of your full length test, this is the time when you need to make some tweaks and changes and work on your pacing so that you can be super efficient with your time. Two days before the test, you need to stop studying. I know, I know, but you heard me correctly. Listen, taking an SAT is like running a marathon. So when you're training for the SAT, you're training very, very hard every day and your brain is a muscle. So you need to give that muscle some time to rest and relax before it goes into the big event. You might be feeling a little angst at this point too because the test is right around the corner. So you can work on some relaxation techniques like meditating, going for walks, deep breathing exercises, really anything that's gonna get you in the right frame of mind so that you're feeling good on Saturday. Now, the day before the SAT, make sure you are fully prepared for the test because if you wake up in the morning and it is really early in the morning, you don't wanna be rushing to try to find something to wear or your admission ticket or your calculator. If you have everything laid out and ready to go, it will make the morning of a less stressful experience. And if you can reduce your stress on test day, that is key. Make sure you have a comfortable outfit picked out as well. You want to feel really comfortable in the test. And I've also found layers works great. Some testing centers you go to, you're gonna be so hot and the air is off. Some testing centers you go into, they're blasting the AC and it's freezing. So dress in layers, t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, have a jacket that you can take off just in case, but definitely be comfortable. So I would say leave your pleather jumpsuits at home. Finally, the night before the test, you wanna make sure you get a full night's sleep. So recommendation is eight hours. Now, this is just a tip, but I would say if you're a night owl and you go to bed super late every night, even during the school nights, I would start practicing going to bed earlier at the beginning of week three because you wanna get into the habit of it. Um, otherwise, what will happen is you're gonna toss and turn the night before if you try to go to bed too early and your body is not accustomed to it. Remember guys, while these tips can help you prepare for the SAT test, there is no substitute for long-term preparation. Obviously, as a test prep coach, I always recommend a student spend more time working on the SAT and building lasting skills to really maximize their score. So if you have more time to prepare, please view this next test as a practice run so that you can glean some analytics and data that will help shape your future prepping so that you can continue to work on the skills you need to work on to get the score you want. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and also comment below and mention any study tips and tricks you have that you're using to get ready for the SAT. I would love to hear it, and I'm sure it would help the YouTube community out immensely. Until next time, guys, happy prepping.